So I'm going to model the snail cam now. If you look at the dimensions on the sheet that was given as part of the 4.5 assignment, the dimension from the outer top piece of the snail cam to the center point is one half the nominal diameter or the nominal dimension of the cam or the radius of a full circle. So how I will start this is to create that full circle. So we'll start a new 2D sketch with my circle tool. And let's make this nominal dimension two inches. So I have a two inch circle. I'm gonna make another circle on the inside like that, which is going to be um, the smaller or the distance from the bottom of this line to the center point, which is one quarter the nominal dimension. And remember that's radius. So if the nominal dimension is two inches, this radius is one inch. And if this is one quarter the nominal dimension, then this is one half of the of this radius, this um, radius, the one half radius. So we look at our circles. This two inch circle has a radius of one inch. This inner circle should have a radius of 0.5. Therefore, the diameter would be one. But I am going to use parametric modeling here. So this, the diameter of this circle is going to be one half of my nominal dimension. And it should equal one. <clears throat> I'm going to make this circle just a construction circle. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to go on to my Format tab and choose Construction. And it makes it a construction line. That's just going to be for reference. So that line that comes down for the snail cam, I'm going to line it up vertically with the center point and go down to that construction circle. And that's going to be this part of the cam. I don't know if my cursor is showing up on the video, but it goes from here to here. That's um, where that ends, where the second arc is going to end. Now I'm going to use the arc tool up here and start the arc from that point at the bottom of that line which matches up with that inner circle. It's going to be a three-point arc. Go down all the way down to the larger circle. And then I'm going to make an arc. Now I'm going to match it up. You see that dotted line when, I'm, when I am horizontal with that um, center point. And I'm just going to drop the arc there. Then I'm going to make this arc tangent to the larger circle. Let's make that tangent like that. And then you'll notice that that dimension is exactly 0.75. Now I could leave it just like that and trim off my excess. And you'll see I have the, the snail cam made. But this 0.75, I did not make parametrically. So if I were to go and change my initial dimension of two inches for my um, for my original dimension, if I can click on it here, I can't. It is not selecting for me. Well, if I can try to do that. OK, so if I wanted to change this to, say, my 3-inch nominal diameter or nominal dimension, it gets a little bit out of whack. So I can't do that because this 0.75 is um, remaining as 0.75. So we have to figure out what relationship this would have to the larger arc or our, our nominal dimension. So when you dimension an arc, it dimensions it by radius. 
So if this were a full circle, it would be 1.5 inch diameter. So, but our nominal dimension is two inches. So we have to come up with that ratio. So I'm gonna just take my calculator and figure out if this is 0.75 for the radius and the larger circle has a radius of one, what is that relationship? So the full diameter is two and it's got to go down to 1.5. So two times X equals 1.5, solve for X, 1.5 divided by 2 is 0.75. That makes sense. So I have to make it the nominal diameter times 0.75. Oops. 0.75, but that would give the full diameter of that arc. So I have to divide the whole thing by 2 because I want the radius. Check. And it, now it is a function. It still has the same value of 0.75, but now it is, it's related to this original dimension of 2 inches, our nominal dimension for the snail cam. So now if I change it, if I want to go to a 3-inch nominal dimension, you'll see everything is in proportion, and it'll change in proportion. This is called parametric modeling, when we have relationships between our dimensions. So that is how to get the outline or the basic geometry of the snail cam. The only other thing we have to add on the center point is the hole for the axle, and I'm going to start it at the same center point, and I'm just going to make a quarter inch round on that center point, finish my sketch, extrude just everything but that inner circle, and we should extrude it by 0.25 inches. And that is the snail cam.